Man, ever I say, my pen dream TV. Pen dream TV, dear. I see them. You po. But let me come to you, counsel. And I had gone into a bit of the detail of, of, of um, about your press conference uh, yesterday. Let's let's begin with that. Thank you very much. I have always maintained <clears throat> that this Akufuado Baumia administration is characterized by three EMs. The first is the economic mess that they have created in this country. The second is the educational mess. The third is the environmental mess. One would be thinking that a president who had openly pledged that he was putting his presidency on the line, I mean, something as dear as the presidency on the line, he will leave a better legacy. Regrettably, the man that he made his minister of environment, somewhere 19th of March 2021, wrote a report to the president, report that was received at the office of the chief of staff. And you know, within the presidency, after the president, the vice president, the next in line is the chief of staff. It will interest you to note that this report by the respected heart surgeon, Professor Kwabna Frempombwati, that was delivered to the president on the 19th March 2021, was never discussed. In fact, it was kept under wrap like a confidential national security document. In fact, it was just this year where Professor Frimpong Watson granted an interview to GBC. And in that interview, made the point clear that there are persons working in the, sorry, Jubilee House, uh, Jubilee House sorry, who he named specifically <laughs> in the oh wow <laughs> the jubilee house. I, I, it was it was a conscious slip of tongue. But, oh, no, but, no, no, but no. let's oh, no, let's no, no. <laughs> the the jubilee. You know it become much of a, a conversation now. But to the mm. jubilee house, mm. where he specifically named certain individuals, persons who work with the president, has been directly involved in this illegal mining popularly called Galamsey. Now when the report came, the president hurriedly said, oh, I'm giving the report. Until Professor Frimpong Watson's report came this year, two years after it went to the presidency. We didn't know anything about it. Okay. Now immediately the man started talking. The president said, see how they come and investigate. So they gave the document to the CID to investigate. Now, I have read the, I don't know whether it's an advice, a legal opinion, or whatever it is, from the office of the Attorney General. And in that opinion, the Attorney General basically concludes that the persons named, and what have you in the Galamse report by Frempon Watson, does not disclose anything worthy of criminal prosecution. So what? Nothing at all in that report merits criminal prosecution. But I wasn't surprised. I mean, one of the dubious distinctions of this Akufuado Baumia administration is the fact that the president clears anybody found to have engaged in any form of wrongdoing. And so when the AG report came, saying that there was no basis for criminal prosecution, I personally wasn't surprised at all. But what is in the report that was controverted by the AG report? Nothing. In fact, possibly because Professor Trimpon Barton is a scientist, if you read the report, the, the, he was so methodical even in putting the report together, 
each heading, you provide pictorial evidence. In fact, in one particular portion, he narrates how a company called Heritage Imperial, the, the, the level of devastation in the Diaso forest by this particular company. The attorney general is saying that no, this company has not done any wrong. Possibly the pictures that Frimpong Guatin put in his report were conjured from us. He just sat down in his room and took a picture of his room and put it in the report as the current state of the Diaso forest. Look, your own colleague, Joy FM reporter, I think Erastus Asari, mm. he had done a work that corroborates this particular thing. What do you expect of the CID to do? The Frempong Guatin report provides only a lead. I mean, it's like a police CID goes to a murder scene, right? Then he sees the knife that was used. Right there and there, he cannot conclude that it is Kwejo or Ama. Mm. What you do is that the knife provides him a lead. What you do is to further investigate, possibly, whose fingerprints are on the knife, who is due. Then you do all the matching. That is what the CID will do. So the Frimpong Watson report provides you a lead. And that lead is supposed to aid the criminal investigative agencies to probe further. They are simply telling us like that. The report on the face of it is enough. And so the CID, we have cleared. Attorney General, they are cleared. There is no basis. Was there any police officer or CID or investigator that went to the DSO forest to check what was going on? I have seen a video where Professor Kwam, who Professor Frimpon Watson specifically mentioned, a young man by name Kwabna Sentry had indicated, he did a video where he indicated how the said professor Kwam, who was a member of the interministerial whatever, had given him a concession. The police CID and the attorney general says, we didn't do any investigation. That was it. Are they telling us that they never saw that video? Was there at any point that they invited a gentleman who did the video and specifically named Professor Kwam? Was there any such thing? Nothing. So clearly, if you look at the totality of the report generated by the Attorney General, it was the classic case of covering up the mess created within our forest zones. Is the Attorney General telling us that when the Minerals Commission and the Ministry is upset, the company owned by the MPP Ashanti Regional Chairman, Akonta Mining, were engaged in illegal mining activity within a forest, that one too, it didn't happen. So if you read that report by the Attorney General, in fact, if I have a copy, I've done what a plus did by tearing it into pieces on this show. I should have printed it to this when uh, it was coming so that I would just tear it up here just to demonstrate the level of revulsion. Look, the, the, the effects of Galamse on our environment water bodies. I've heard medical doctors say that today women who are giving birth to kids within the mining communities, they do not have their genitalia. Simply because of exposure to mercury and the rest. So kids are growing without their limbs. What wrong have we done? And when there is an opportunity by government of Ghana to demonstrate 
that this government does not support this illegal mining activity, the Attorney General decided to insult all of us, our intelligence, by putting together that report that suggests that all the persons named in the Galamse report, look, your own colleague journalist, who works for one of the FMs, either Peace FM, he actually gave a statement to the police where he himself indicated that he had been receiving money into his personal bank account at NIB. Which money comes from the Galamseyers to the task force, the Operation Vanguard or whatever. The AG says, what about that report? And so if you put the totality of the Attorney General's uh, 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 opinion or directive or whatever it is, you notice that what it does is to basically cover up for the abysmal manner that this government had handled the issue of Galamse. Right. And, and you see, the NDC, and we have served notice, which notice is deemed served, that people should know that there's no statute of limitation when it comes to crime. There's no statute of limitation when it comes to criminal conduct. Whatever it is, and, and you see, the level of distraction within that forest zone is not one you can easily reclaim. The activities of the persons named in the Galamsey report, delivered to the presidency on the 19th of March 2021, is there for all of us to see. So the police, together with the Attorney General Department, can decide to cover up this. But there is going to be a day of accountability. All right. Let me come to you now, Honorable. And uh, the NDC says that um, the government, through the Attorney General, um, is covering up the rot perpetuated by, by, by Gallup Sayers and accusing um, some members of the NPP to be part of this grand agenda. Ah, you know what's against my heart? When people legal fraternity court officers court legal brains throws away the caution not guilty until proven guilty they pronounce people guilty and these are people in other words they go to the court make their livelihood on the basis of upholding this legal principle I find it quite worrying, but my conclusion is always quite simple. They are doing all this in expectation of getting political power. And uh, people who are doing this and sounding warnings to people, a day is coming. We have seen their likes in their party issuing such empty threats, and they come into office, and it's a different thing altogether. Ghanaians won't be hoodwinked into believing these elements who don't even have principle. Because for what has happened, I'm sure every other person is interested. The effect of Galamse on our water bodies, our environment, our health, that to the extent that the president had put his own re-election on the line and said that if that will cost him his re-election bid, he was prepared to sacrifice his office to fight Galamse. Look, when Professor Fimpo Mbwatin uttered that report, the report went to the presidency. Indeed, it was received by the chief of staff. Professor Fimpo Mbwatin, in the wake of making this report public, and then the report was subsequently referred to the CID for investigations. As we speak, the content of that investigations subsequently had been forwarded to the Attorney General for advice before prosecution. And my brother here, who is a lawyer, 
And in fact, he has the NDC legal uh, uh, team, so he knows this better than I do. He was referred to the AG for advice. Cardinal or critical in investigating this matter by the CID is a star witness himself. You've altered the report to the chief of staff. My good friend says that it's a lead for the police to continue. Now he's been invited to testify before the CID for further investigations on some of the things he put in this write up. He's refused. Professor Frimpong Boatin had refused to collaborate with the CID in investigating these matters. The NDC that are speaking today, including my good friend seated here, Sami Jemfi and all that. If they had any further evidence to back the claims they are making today, nothing stops them. When they heard and they knew and they, they've come into notice of the fact that the matter had been referred to the CID for further investigations, they could have made their way to the CID and offer these pieces of evidence to the CID mm. to make their work complete. The police does not work in a vacuum. And the extent of investigations, what you are doing here is mere speculative. The things you are saying they haven't followed up and all that, you are not aware, you are not in the know whether it's been captured as part of the report by the CID. But we can make, and in that same report, and the work by the CID, a Joy FM reporter, three people, President from Bombati, named nine persons in his report. And three people, the AG in his advice on the report, had recommended that further investigation should be done on three people, including the Joy FM reporter that brought evidence that monies were paid to his account. So if you care to know, the same AG you are castigating today in that report, in his response to whether or not there's a basis for prosecution. Because you're a lawyer. The AG will not come to court on a mere basis of allegation. You should have your criminal prosecution proven beyond reasonable doubt. I have my own issues with Professor Fimpo Martin, but I'm not dealing with that this morning. I'm dealing with the NDC press conference and their position on this matter. Their position on this matter. I think that, like he said, They've made this comment. You remember the NDC saying that the vote of this country was depleted. The gold stock of this country were depleted, depleted and shared among MPP staff. Press conference upon press. Today, the general secretary of the NDC was the general propaganda secretary of the NDC. That when they come into office, they are going to arrest, prosecute, to the extent that they had allocated monies, wanton monies that are not even exist in this country to leading members of the MPP in the run up to 2008 elections and criminalize them in this country. What happened? They, you remember the sale of the Vodafone? You remember the sale of the Ghana Telecom mm -hmm. to Vodafone? Mm -hmm. Now, the former minority leader, Harun Idris, my respected uh, friend, what didn't they say? That when they get power, that then uh, a vice presidential candidate, President Kufo, had sold Ghana Telecom to Vodafone. Crime had no statute bar. When they come, they were going to invest it. What happened to the sale of Ghana Telecom to Vodafone? These are all empty threats. Because the evidence of the game, when it comes to prosecution, what is it? It's evidence. Incontrovertible evidence. You remember when the NDC came into power? They heard a lot of people before court. Then they were all dismissed on the basis of lack of evidence. So I thought... One would have thought that they would have learned from this act of anti-threat, seeking political power. When they get it, what happened? So in criminal prosecution, today, when MBP took office, when we told them they were stealing, they didn't believe. But records holds it that these two political traditions, most of their members over time had been convicted by a court of competent jurisdiction. So you don't sit here and throw these empty threats. I've heard them one too many. Like he said, if they have any evidence, they should provide the evidence. I think the Attorney General. And you see, they always see the AGs, the Ministry of Attorney General and Justice, as it were, 
go for a dummy. But when you go in, the person who prefers this advice, on behalf of the AG, it's not, you, you don't even know. But these are seizing people that had to take the police uh, investigation and profess advice. The AG is informed, doesn't mean everything there. So it is legal opinion on the investigations of the CID. How does that become a collaboration between the CID and the AG department to discontinue prosecution or, uh, uh, or initiating prosecution in the first place? Anybody can make the widest allegations in this country, but it's not everything that will pass the test. Indeed, the destruction of environment, we are all concerned about it. So the mere fact that you've seen the depletion or the destruction of our environment, and somebody says it's this person, is mentioned people that I'm aware they have not, or they have not even seen a Galamse site, except to see them on, on television. Except to see them on television. So if you say all these things, and they invite you, come and write your statement to the CID to continue the investigation. You're supposed to be the star witness in investigating this matter. What happened? He refused the invitation of the CID to continue the investigation. So I think that like, you can, if you have any evidence, today, it is the AG have directed that further investigation should be done in respect of the matter between the Koewusi and he himself and the gentleman, the Joy FM reporter, and one other person that they've seen some light and that requires further investigation. So the fact that somebody makes an allegation cannot be seen to be like sacrosanct. Mm. Take the person to court. When you go to court, you must adduce evidence. Well, this is a criminal prosecution, and he knows better than me that you must prove beyond all reasonable doubt before you can convict somebody uh, uh, to that extent. So I think that, look, we are all concerned, and I'll be the last person to, to, to shield anybody involved in, in any illegal conduct. And Galamse had been a menace. And this is a political party led by their national officers in a run up to 2020 elections. They went on a campaign trail and they told the people, when you hear that former President Mahama is declared the winner, don't wait for anybody. Rush to your site and begin. You have the video. Don't you have the videos here? You can play the video for all of us to hear. They have promised a wholesale destruction of our environment without caution. And they've made all this as part of their campaign. What haven't we heard? No condemnation from any of them. We saw them turning up being a, 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 the NDC former Ashanti regional youth organizer. All of them were on a campaign trail, met the Galamseyers and told them, don't wait for any documentation. Nana Kufuado is so wicked, want to destroy your work. That is why we lost a lot of constituencies along the, 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 the Galamsey belt. All in an anticipation that when the NDC wins power, it was going to be a wholesale uh, 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 destruction of our environment as it were. That does not also mean that if somebody, now the Galamsey laws are stiffer than it used to be. Mm. Now one can be convicted for a maximum of 25 years imprisonment. So I think that there's been many, many activities or actions by government to ensure that we curtail it. Of course, these things thrive not on emotions, but it thrives on uh, 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 incontrovertible evidence before you can begin prosecution. So if it's all about political uh, uh, gimmicks, you see them, you see the video, you can play the video and the <laughs> comments, they made them, look at them, promising them wholesale, when you come, don't wait for anybody. Illegal mining, go, go and mine. And now there are lots. I mean, the Minerals Commission has a slot on this platform. All the effort they are making to regularize small scale mining into community mining, giving them equipment and all that. They were clapping for them. And they went to vote for them. And today they are sitting here and talking about a report that does not support, does not have any evidence to support in prosecution. All right. And a professional work. Mm -hmm. Unless we pick the report. Look at the, the advice of the AG and say that you have uh, uh, failed to avail your mind on these and these areas. That one is their legitimate right to do. But looking at the track record, the history of the people we are dealing with today, they've made similar uh, uh, statements when election is about uh, uh, happening in this country. 
and they all turned out to be a different story altogether. So we've seen this one too many. But I will only say we must uh, 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 all hasten slowly in trying to uh, criminalize people before they are even prosecuted. All right. No, thank you very much. I think it's sir. important that um, I in, say in, in a minute. Yes. In a minute. I, I want to be able First to do the quickly think, briefly uh, yes, on the, the economy I, yes, and, yes, the, yes, and yes. the DD. Maybe if you can clarify hmm. who was prosecuted by the NDC and the court said there was lack of evidence. Oh. You took Asama Bwati into court. What happened? You took uh, so many. I will get the list for you. What so, happened? So, so, so you see, if you don't know what happened, you don't sit on the public TV and make this pronouncement. But that is by the bar. Look, you remember no, the, kill the, you remember the kill the cat. No NDC. No NDC official or appointee has said the party supports illegal mining. As we speak, government under this administration, they are allowing the mining activities to go on under the guise of community mining. Ask them. So nothing stops the NDC administration from ensuring that mining is done. I mean, small-scale mining is done. And in this country, small-scale mining is lawful. And so, nobody has said NDC is going to allow gallantry. Nobody. And I dare anybody to provide evidence. The video that is being shown had nothing to do with support for illegal mining. And look, when oh, said, after go, hearing go, that the woman go, had won, go, go, don't go, go, sit, go, go, don't wait for go, go, it. Go, go, go to the site. What does that mean? My deputy How many people go to site without, without my, documentation? My, 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 what my, my call deputy that national one? communication officer dead, Kweku Bwai, Tony Orbin, and anybody in this country knows. Dr. Tony Obey's Look, expertise play the, when play it comes the video to once again. They were clear in their minds that because they know that Galante is illegal. So there's no way anybody was going to encourage illegal mining. The party position had always been clear that there's a better way of doing small-scale mining that preserves the environment and water bodies. And that is what we have always advocated for. The level at which the destruction of the environment happened, that is what we have always complained. In any case, like Sly was making the point, Nana Dudankwe Kufuado never referred the report uttered by Frimpon Watching on the 19th of March 2021 to the CID. It was the interview he granted to BBC, uh, GBC. That is what necessitated the CID investigation. Mm -hmm. So to say that the president referred a report to the CID for further investigation is completely false. For two years, Akufado sat on the Frimpong Boateng report because he was afraid. Because if you read the report, Professor Frimpong Boateng narrates instances where he specifically complained and named individuals to the president. As usual, he just looked somewhere else, which has always been the conduct of Akufado. See no evil, hear no evil. And we are saying that the level of distraction to the environment, the response from the Attorney General to the Frimpon Watson report and the issue that he had raised mm. is hopefully symbolic. The response is to the CID's investigation. A cleanup <laughs> the of the individuals. And if you think that the day of accountability will not come. Continue. Let me, let me. you are not involved. Those who are involved know that there is going to be a day. But if you want, you can also engage in the balance. <laughs> so let me, do, let me do five minutes. minutes on land. Let me do five let minutes. Me minutes, minutes of, my <laughs> let, me, let me do five minutes each of um, the, the Ghana to make. Um, that's that's that should be uh, honourable uh, slide. Let, let, let me. You have. Uh, 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 my I you can give it a try and see what I will do community mining for you. So, uh, they didn't come out. I'm in the pending TV. Now, so far, so good. Say so open online portal and work on that. Ah, you share, you follow, you comment here. To my best of knowledge, without any biases, I uh, have pending TV.